Hi, my name is Kubis Treter. I'm a co-founder of Inlu, and uh, we transform township neighborhoods through uh, profitable property partnerships. So you all know that we've got a housing crisis in South Africa. What you might not know is that there exists a 10 billion rand a year informal backyard rental housing market that is responding uh, to this challenge. But these landlords lack the systems and the capital to keep up with the explosive demand of a rapidly urbanizing population. So um, what we do is we, um, we, we partner with them. We start off with the Inlu app. We facilitate the relationship between tenants and, um, and, and landowners um, while building a track record for both the tenant and the landlord. On the back of that track record, we've got all the data. We are able to invest into their uh, property. Um, this increases their property value, it increases their income, and it adds valuable rental stock um, to the market. The market is huge. As I said, it's 10 billion rand a year, virtually untapped by the private sector. Um, this market um, houses 10% of our country right now, and most of the foreigners that's in the, in the country. We're talking about 850,000 landlords um, in, in, in township areas. So tenants use the app to browse for available space. There's a bidding system that determines market value for the, for, the, um, for the property. They sign an online lease and they pay um, cash, credit card, debit card. It's like buying airtime, but for rent. Um, owners use, this becomes a, uh, a software solution that a micro landlord can carry around in his pocket. On the back of that, we can then invest. A building like this um, costs us about 300,000 Rand to build, including the fee that supports our overhead, but it brings in about 10,000 Rand a month. Um, of that, 5% goes to a community development fund, 10% goes to the landlord, he's cash flow positive day one, and the remaining 8,500 Rand pays a net first year lease of 34%, uh, which allows us to pay this down in a five year period. Our team has been hustling in the townships for the last 10 years. We've developed three township shopping centers, and we got our township shopping center investors to invest back into Inlu. We decided now to focus specifically just on um, Inlu. Uh, we've launched our app December last year, and since we've done 3.2 million rand in upgrades. Our repayment rate is 100%. We ha don't have a single vacancy using local construction only. So what's next? We are currently raising 18 million into two separate investment vehicles at an IRR of 12%, targeting 60 landowners um, with around about a 300,000 rand per landowner investment. We're also working on the Inlu Invest crowdfunding platform, so look out for that, as well as the Inlu Build platform for managing um, uh, the contractors. Boom. <laughs> yes. I, use, I usually go off on a tangent, so um, took a lot of self-restraint to end in time. <laughs> okay, I'm open for questions. Um, I wanted to know, thank you very much. Great pitch, by the way, and very quick. Um, what's the main social impact of your program? Oh, I don't know where to start. Housing, that's the biggest one. How many uh, housing riots has been in just in Cape Town? So we're adding rental stock to the, to the market. We are upgrade, th these are landlords that now have a 300,000 plus asset. So we're moving capital into the hands of township landlords. We are building track records for tenants. They now have leases. You know how hard it is to rica or to fika when you're living in a backyard shack. Um, we're doing 100% um, uh, local uh, labor and mostly local suppliers. We're developing a local supplier chain. And there's 5% that goes into a community fund that then funds local grassroots initiatives. I can go on. Uh, just a quick question. So I, I get the whole Uber of room rentals. What's the, um, you were speaking about funding development cost as well. Um, what, what, how, how does that component come in? So we build a track record with the, with the tenants. So it's like Taxi SA. They took the entire taxi finance market by having the data. We've got the data. 
So we, on the back of that, invest. We be partnered with the landowner to upgrade his property. It can be a new building. It can be an upgrade to his okay, existing so you guys property. Fund. You've got a fund. That we you fund. Then... We fund. We actually, that's our main That's, our main that's your main to. business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and then at what rates is that? So, so you're becoming a township bank, basically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, what's so the commercial they, modeling they, they, they that? pay down using the increase in their income only. So they are cash flow positive day one. Okay. We've got an 18% interest rate on, 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 on our service, if, if that's the question. Mm -hmm. But th this never comes out of their pocket because we only charge and they can, we can never dip, dip into the existing um, uh, 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 income stream. We only work off of the increase in rent due to the upgrade. Okay. Why are you switching out the mic? I, I got confused somewhere. Whether you're an app developer, you're a funder, you're an investor, um, what are you? And Both. I, w I would have loved to have seen the kind of developments that you do, and more than anything, how you're educating the community. Because there's an old mama that is sitting there in the township, doesn't know how to operate an app, doesn't know how, it's not technologically savvy. And you seem you are mainly t uh, technologically driven. Yes. Okay. So uh, we are both. That the, the answers the question about the how, what are we? We use the systems to gather the data. On the back of the data, we invest. So mainly we are investors. If you look at the business model, um, the question of the mamas. We have three or four mamas already. That's been. It's mostly their children. Everybody's got smartphones. Right now we're operating in Tembisa. Everybody's got smartphones. Um, the, the mamas themselves don't know how to, to use it. Their sons usually help them. We've got a lady, she's called Octavia. This, this unit I use in the presentation is hers. This, this unit uh, belongs to a lady. She's got a, she had a stroke. She's an old mama. She cannot look after herself. But she, invested, she, she, she used our app to manage. Her son helped her to manage her own backyard tenants. Now, uh, in five years' time, this is going to pay, be paid off. And, three, uh, and, and the 10,000 rand a month, which with escalations is going to be 15,000 rand a month in five years, is go is can go to her son's education. It sounds like you've got a reasonable team behind this, but can you just tell us a little bit more about your team? Yeah, we're, we're about five guys on, on, on the head office level. Most of us study together with two engin uh, systems engineers and... Oh.